So in the last few videos, we've been talking about the growth mindset and versus the fixed mindset and how to overcome a fixed mindset, move into growth and start overcoming these obstacles and getting you really just to execute the stuff that you said you were going to do. Another thing that gets in the way that we like to combine in this complete idea of having a growth and ownership mindset is that second half, the ownership mindset. So the ownership mindset is something that's really, really critical to being successful really in anything. And if you've ever said something like, oh, it was my trainer's fault, it was lockdown's fault, it was Christmas's fault, it was whatever is going on in your life outside of you making a decision right now is moving away from an ownership-based mindset. That's what we would call deflecting, is trying to find something else to put the blame on so we don't have to really take responsibility. So a really good example, and we see quite a bit, is like clients will come to us and they'll say, oh, my old trainer did this, this, and this. And that's great. Sometimes there there is old trainers that didn't really fulfill what the client was looking for, but quite often we need to actually step back and take a little bit of responsibility ourselves. So if you really want to see results in your own training, in your own strength and physique and fat loss outcomes, what you really need to do is embrace this ownership mindset. So what is it? I've said it a hundred times. If you took a shot every time I've said it, you're pretty drunk by now. But what is the ownership mindset? Really, it's just about taking responsibility for everything in your life. A nice really way to package it is whether it's your fault or not, it's still your responsibility. So there's lots of shit that happens to us that we have to then respond to and how we respond is what's going to influence how we create our outcomes. Someone with an ownership mindset believes that in any given situation, it's their responsibility. Whereas on the flip side, someone with a deflective mindset will always look for something external to blame. Now have a think about from a power standpoint, if you're able to say like, I'm gonna grab hold of this and this is my responsibility and I'm gonna find a way to get this done versus uh, it was this is other things fold, it's got nothing to do with me, it's not on me. Which person's gonna be more empowered and more likely to get success? Who's gonna feel better on a daily basis for being able to overcome things that get in their way? So like the growth mindset, mastering this ownership mindset will positively impact what you get out of your personal training, your career, your relationships, and just life in general. So taking responsibility will change the entire outlook and put an end to excuses that are really holding you back. So to best learn how to embrace the ownership mindset, we really need to learn why you're pushing away in the first place. If it's such an important factor, why aren't we all doing it? The truth be told, the main reason is really just like you're reluctant to take responsibility because it hurts the ego, man. You don't want to say like, I didn't get the outcome because of me. It's much, much easier to say, oh, well, this is something else's fault. I'd like to put blame over here. It's, it's the program. It's the diet. I didn't do keto. I didn't like fast. Way, way easier to say, you know what? I just didn't fucking show up. And no one likes saying that. But when you learn to embrace that and be able to come at things with that sort of attitude, you will undoubtedly much be much more successful. The ownership mindset will deliver better outcomes 100% of the time. Paired with the growth mindset, you can put a 2x in front of your results. These two together, working symbiotically, is what it takes to get the ultimate results that you possibly can. It's why we have a whole pillar of our training method dedicated to the mindset. Because if you don't have all this stuff right, you're just going to keep making excuses or not believing in yourself and hitting the same roadblocks time and time again. So the ownership mindset is key to perseverance and forward momentum. When you sign up and commit to personal training or your own training goals, you won't achieve, achieve any fat loss or body composition or strength if you're just making excuses all the time. So you have to be able to step back and say, all right, what am I going to do here? What am I in control of? And how can I take responsibility of this outcome and make it better? So if you haven't already checked out the growth mindset videos, the previous two on the channel are those. And then next week, we're going to look at another quiz because we did one in the last video around whether or not you actually have an ownership mindset right now or if you need some work. So the link will be in the captions below for you to jump in and do that. Make sure you jump on and follow the podcast as well. Episode 19, which we'll link below, we go right down deep into mindset and how important it is as a pillar when it comes to bulletproofing your outcomes for strength, body composition, or fat loss goals.